we have returned to our spotted hyena because, of course, it is a really very good way of determining the hierarchy within a hyena clan, or at least getting a little bit of an idea of the dynamics within a clan around a kill site. And although ideally it would be better if it were fresh, it's still interesting watching the way that the hyenas interact with each other. The reason that I say we have returned to these hyena, and if you have a weak stomach at the best of times, perhaps now would be the time not to listen to what I'm saying. Um, the This hippo carcass has been here for, I would guess, about two days now, which means that it's had ample opportunity to uh, build up a huge amount of gas as a result of the bacteria breaking down the meat within the hippo. The result was that the hyenas hit and burst one of these bubbles, and the explosion was incredible. It sprayed out everywhere, and um, Senzo and I had to depart quite rapidly due to the smell being quite overwhelming. So we've returned, we're braving it once again, now that the smell of the gas has <laughs> removed itself. I mentioned that hyenas like to put their food in water, and Bev was wondering why that is. There's a couple of reasons. One is that it might be a good way of hiding the scent, so a good way of sort of keeping it hidden away from other scavengers, largely lions actually, since lions can and do scavenge regularly. Another reason why is that it might be a hyena that wants to keep it all to itself and not share with the rest of the group. There is another thought, and I kind of buy it. I mean, I don't quite know how you'd prove it, but the other thought or school of thinking is that hyenas actually quite like it when the meat goes rotten inside the water. It's nice and soft and easy to eat. Now think of, you know, believe what you will, but I could see it being a factor. They don't mind getting muddy and dirty, they don't mind lying in the fetid water, so it might just be a way of adding an extra dimension, a stew, if you like. A rotten meat stew. It's disgusting, isn't it? Ooh. One hyena getting a bit too brave there, getting a growl from the other. They're talking to each other. Yep, banished to the other side. <laughs> Look at the sneaky one coming in at the back. Sub-adult looking to see if it can gnaw on the edges or at the scraps. Careful, you're going to get into trouble. Supplication. Ears back. It bottom down. Even if it's in the water, it's still a potential biting target. Gotta be careful when you make your way into a situation like this. Ashes, I don't quite know how the hippopotamus died. It's got some injuries on its side, and if we have a look there, Sens, there, there's some scrape marks. I, that to me looks a lot like wounds from another hippo. That to me looks like it got into a fight, and those amazing ivory tusks of a hippopotamus sliced through its skin. So I would suggest that it was a hippo that was involved with a fight with another hippo, and that might have weakened it. Whether or not the hyenas finished the job is a different question and one that, again, we will never ha have the answer to until we actively see them taking down a hippopotamus. We know that they do hunt hippo here. It is something that happens. So it's possible that this clan killed it. The fact that we've seen two hippo carcasses with this hyena clan in the last three weeks is interesting. It doesn't tell us necessarily that they killed them. But it is interesting. I wonder if we'll start to see more hippo carcasses in this area. And you can see the hyenas are not bothered at all. In fact, they quite like lying in water. But I walk in the rain. Yes, potentially a hyena would go into... Uh, not a hyena, sorry. A lion would go into this water to feed off the carcass. They'd probably try to drag it out if they could but it wouldn't stop them from feeding and there's you'll find if you scour hard enough you'll find lots of pictures of lions in water feeding off carcasses displaced walking through the thick mud oh dear Oof. that's not looking good at all 
I would suggest that that is a very low-ranking hyena with a very bad injury. Neither of those back legs look like they're doing too well. Hmm. The left one's worse. The left one looks almost completely immobile. The right one looks wasted as well. Muscle wastage. Let's just wait for it to pop up there. Shame. I think that might be a broken pelvis. That's almost certainly from another hyena, and it doesn't look like a new injury. That looks like an old injury to me. You can hear the little squeaks from the hyenas as they find their feeding spot. Amy, it's not common for hippo to get stuck in the mud, uh, unless they are, for some reason, unless they're weaker, for whatever reason it may be. Perhaps they've been attacked by lions, perhaps it's a time of drought and they're struggling to meet their nutritional needs, might have been injured in a fight. Um, it's not common for hippos to get stuck in mud, and in fact, during times of drought, what we saw, especially in the sands two years ago, was that the hippos would still seek out the mud, even if it was thick and difficult to get out of and into, just because their skin was getting so harshly affected by the sun and the temperatures were so, so hot and they had nowhere to go. It doesn't often happen though. Hippos usually quite good at getting themselves out of sticky mud. It does happen with buffalo every now and again, some of the smaller antelope, especially young antelope, will find themselves stuck in the mud as well. Sorting out a hierarchy now that the larger hyena is finished feeding. Two little ones making their way in. They've been waiting for their chance all evening, probably. And finally it's presented itself. As a larger, more dominant hyena moves off. Oh, there's that smell again. It's not too bad, though. Not nearly as bad as when that gas bubble burst. Senzor turned a sort of vague shade of green when I looked back at him. Roughly the colour of his jacket, actually. You know, James has been talking about how marvellous the smell of the Mara is. Not this aspect. Now, Raz, you want to know why it is that their crocs haven't shown up if there's meat in the water? Wouldn't they have made an appearance? They're unlikely to, and the reason why is that this particular water river isn't flowing. So it's not home to that many resident crocodiles. There might be one or two in deeper pools further back along this water or along this river structure, but there aren't any crocodiles in this water, and they're unlikely to trek all the way here to come and feed off a hippo carcass. They don't need to. There's plenty of food well on its way shortly. I wonder how the hummer corpse feel. Oh, sorry, Sens. I think it's time for Sens and myself to depart. Luckily, and Tristan is still with Trist uh, Tristan is still with Tristan. Tristan is still with uh, Tumba and Tundi, and I'm sure they smell much better than this.